question for you. Do brands have an obligation to police the comments in their comment sections on Facebook or YouTube? We'll discuss. As you know, social media is a very powerful entity that we all deal with to varying degrees. Even those of us who try to avoid social media probably still have times where you are inevitably drawn to social media for one reason or another. And one of the reasons that I think a lot of people avoid social media is the passive aggressive way that people can be pretty vicious. And sometimes not even passive aggressive, throw that out the window. Sometimes it's just outright aggression. And nowhere in social media is that more evident than when you look at the comments that people leave on controversial news stories. For example, posted by media outlets that have Facebook pages or YouTube channels. And so when you look at what is being posted out there on some of these Facebook pages, you know that sometimes they're looking at it and they're thinking, engagement is so important. We want as many people engaged with our social media content as possible. And so how do you help strengthen that engagement? Well, you post controversial stories. In another video on this channel, I discussed that people will be very aggressive, very passive aggressive in their comments and in the way that they engage with people. And if you are a social media manager of a certain type for a organization of a certain type and you are looking at your social media platform and you're looking for metrics, a lot of people look for metrics. And one of the metrics that's most important to a lot of people is engagement. There was a time in social media where you wanted simply to have a lot of followers or you wanted to have simply a lot of likes. And then as Facebook made some changes and started to basically make it more of a pay to play system, it became evident to a lot of people that what's more important than even the number of followers, the number of likes that you have for your page, it's more important that you get engagement. And so how can you get engagement? Well, you post stories that evoke passion. You post stories that evoke strong responses either on the right or on the left. So you see where I'm going with this. So you see a lot of political stories because politics really stirs passion. Politics stirs passion. Sports stirs passion. With sports, it's a very different kind of a passion. You might have, you know, rival fan bases that might uh, go at it a little bit harshly at times. That, that's going to happen. But politics, that's a different beast altogether. And what you see many times is that news organizations, for example, they know that. They understand that. And so they post a lot of political type posts where the politician from the Democratic Party makes this controversial statement. Or the politician from the Republican Party makes this controversial statement. So you combine the two parties that are polarized, divided, and then you look at hot button topics. So for example, immigration, abortion, gun rights, LGBTQ plus rights, reparations. So you start to see the combustible mix coming together. You got divided electoral base, Republicans, Democrats. You have hot button topics that I just talked about. 
and that you have the ability to post without engaging people face to face through the power of social media. So you get a dangerous mix. So what happens though, when you start to see that you've created this combustible mix and then it starts to explode in the comments under your posted Facebook story or the video clip that you posted to your YouTube channel and people are going at it and you see racism, you see sexism, xenophobia, homophobia, what is the obligation of the brand, of the company, of the business, of the social media manager to police that content? A lot of it comes down to what kind of a community do you want to have? If you're just interested strictly in engagement, no matter the cost, scorched earth, hey, we got to do what we got to do then you're gonna probably let everything go. It's open season. You're not gonna have any values. You're not gonna have any community standards. You're not going to have any rules of engagement. You're not gonna delete comments. You're not gonna ban users. You're not gonna block people. It comes down to what kind of a community do you want? Do you want a community where it's just no holds barred and everybody uh, is out for themselves. That's pretty easy. You don't really have to manage anything. You put your controversial comments out there, your controversial posts out there. Uh, you mix up the politics, Republican, Democrat, you know, gay rights, reparations, immigration and you just watch it explode? Or do you set guidelines, you set standards of conduct to try to, as best you can, ensure a lively discussion that doesn't deteriorate into a cesspool of racism, homophobia, sexism, xenophobia, and so on? These are the questions that brands have to ask themselves that businesses have to ask themselves, that social media managers have to ask themselves, that social media managers must discuss with their superiors. What kind of community do you want? That's the question that you have to ask. But there's another question that others have to ask. What kind of community do you want to participate in? Do you want to participate in that kind of a community? The answer in most cases is or in many cases is yes. People do like that. People do like to go on there and vent because you don't have to see people face to face. So there's nothing to worry about. You can leave a comment and attack somebody, call them all kinds of names because it's somebody that you're probably never gonna see. And that's the danger sometimes of social media. We can create a combustible atmosphere if we don't engage in responsible community standards that govern the comments that are going to be left on our accounts. So that's something for all social media managers, business leaders with social media accounts. Think about what kind of community, what kind of social community do you wanna have? Hopefully it's a positive one, one that people can engage responsibly and passionately at the same time. It's not impossible. It can be done.